You may remember that a few videos back, I turned a ring for Caitlin the cat's collaboration chain project. The part that I enjoyed least was fitting the jam chuck for remounting the ring. After thinking about it a while, I think I came up with a better way. Interested? Stick around and I'll show you what I came up with. This project starts with a set of Nova 100mm jaws. If you have ever looked closely, you may have noticed a pair of threaded holes in each jaw section. This project will show just one way to make use of this feature. I started out with a block of scrap wood approximately 3x3 three three and 1.5 and inches thick. I cut this blank round on the bandsaw. I used a ruler to get corner to corner marks for center and a compass to get the 3 inch circle. Next, I drilled a 3 8 inch hole for mounting on a worm screw. Once mounted to the lathe, the rough round was turned smooth and true. Then a tenon is cut to the approximate diameter of the center section of the jaw set. I use the actual jaw sections to track my progress. Once I was happy with this, I flattened the face to prepare for the next step. Over at the bench, I traced the jaw shape onto my blank. I used a drill bit slightly smaller than the threaded holes in the jaw to mark centers to be drilled later. I used a drill diameter guide to check for the approximate size bits to accommodate both the head and shank of the attachment screws. I used a very small bit to drill pilot holes all the way through the blank that will be used to align the two larger bits and ensure that the holes meet accurately from both sides. Before drilling the larger holes that allow the head of the screws to be countersunk, check to be sure that the depth stop is set in such a way that it will not cut completely through the blank, but deep enough to allow the screw threads to pass through. Using the pilot holes, I drill half inch holes into the flat side of the blank and quarter inch holes into the step side. Over at the bandsaw, I cut the blank into the four jaw-shaped pieces along the scribe lines. Accuracy is not key here as the jam chuck will most likely not be used in a completely closed position and the jam chuck will be trued up on the lathe anyway. Now attach the newly created jam chuck jaws to the Nova 100mm jaws using a set of standard attachment screws.
Here I use the ring to draw an approximately sized guideline on the jaws. At the lathe, trim the jaws down a little smaller than the object that you want to mount. Now you can mount rings in a range of sizes without fidgeting with the sometimes tedious fit necessary for a good jam chuck. The possibilities with this are endless. I can think of so many tasks that could be improved by this project. Best of all, it can be made using scraps and can be cut until there's not much left and then make a new one. The Nova 100 as well as the 130mm jaw sets both feature these accessory holes and can accommodate a number of shop made accessories. If you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please share it with others. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified of new content. Wait. I've included Amazon links for many of the tools and supplies that I use in this video in the description box. Thank you for joining me in my shop. Be safe when you're working in yours, and remember to dread not and make something. Peace.